Google is rolling out its new AI-powered search experience, TikTok is testing a chatbot, and OpenAI is offering $100,000 grants for big questions of democratic AI governance. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the AI headline news you need in five minutes or less. For this AI Breakdown Brief, I'm building off of the AI Breakdown newsletter, which comes out every morning and I call the first five. It's the five most important news events happening in AI that day. And if you're enjoying the video brief, you might find it a useful way to see what's happening in AI in a very short, compact form. We kick things off with Microsoft's call for a new AI agency. Yes, Microsoft has joined other big tech companies, including Google and OpenAI, in advocating for more regulation of AI. Microsoft President Brad Smith gave a speech in D.C. yesterday that outlined a five-part plan for regulating AI, including joining OpenAI in calls for a new dedicated regulator. Now, when it comes to what Microsoft is concerned about, Smith said that his biggest concerns were deepfakes, AI representations of public figures that could wreak havoc in the democratic process. Of course, not every company agrees with this approach, and in an op-ed yesterday in The Hill, IBM wrote why a single AI regulator just won't work. Instead, they recommend that every regulatory agency be retrofit for an AI world, in effect for every agency to become an AI agency. Next up, OpenAI has launched a million-dollar grant program earmarking 10 $100,000 grants for people to help create frameworks for democratic processes around important questions of AI. Those questions include things like how should AI treat public figures when there's a diversity of opinions about those figures, as well as issues of bias and representation. Now, not everyone is enthused about this approach. Jeffrey Miller responded to OpenAI's tweet saying the most fundamental democratic process would be to run a large scale global survey of humans on whether AI should be developed at all or not. If you're not willing to ask that, you're just imposing AI on our species without our consent. Next up, a really fascinating story. AI has been used to help discover a new antibiotic for a very dangerous superbug. Acindibacter baumani is a type of bacteria that is classified as holding the greatest threat for humanity by the World Health Organization because it can basically pick up genes from other compounds to build drug resistance for itself. In a new study, researchers exposed that bacteria to 7,500 or so different drugs and drug compounds, and then trained an AI model on the 480 or so that showed promise in stopping the development of this particular bacteria. From there, in just a few hours, the AI model was able to test 6,000 plus different chemical compounds that showed promise potentially in treating the bug, of which about 200 were then tested in a lab. Ultimately, one was shown to not only deal with the superbug, but basically to only treat that use case. We're at the very beginning of AI being used in medical research, and this shows just how promising it might be. Next on The Brief today, this seems completely inevitable. TikTok has joined the chatbot frenzy. Now, TikTok is already almost entirely powered by AI. The For You page, which recommends the next video for you, is in fact an AI tool. But this chatbot potentially adds a whole different dimensionality. Imagine, for example, seeing a video of a recipe and then being able to ask the chatbot, which they call Taco, to give you more information about how that recipe could be made at home or what the ingredients were. Currently, TikTok is only testing this in the Philippines, and it was only discovered by a firm that keeps track of new features in big social platforms. Finally, today on The Brief, Google's new search generative experience is here. This is what we were expecting post-IO, and it is the way that Google is integrating generative AI into their search experience. You can join a waitlist now, and users are just starting to get access to it and figure out what it means for the reconstruction of the internet around a very different type of search. I'll have more on that on the weekly recap tomorrow, but for now, that is the most important headline news in AI. If you're enjoying the AI Breakdown Brief, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll be back soon for the main AI Breakdown.